I seriously think I found the best fitness tracker that you can buy right now. After trying out the Whoop 3.0 for around three or four months, I can say I'm impressed and it got my attention. So in this video, what I wanna do is just share my honest thoughts on the Whoop 3.0 and why it should be on the top of your list if you're thinking about getting a fitness tracker in the near future. If it's your first time here, my name is Noah. I make videos on the best health and wellness tech that you should be paying attention to. So let's go ahead and dive right into the Whoop 3.0. The number one thing that I love about the Whoop 3.0 is its sleep tracking. If you know me and you've seen any of my previous videos I am a big nut when it comes to sleep tracking and I think it is the one health metric that all fitness wearables should be able to monitor and track sleep is important for your overall health whether it's for recovery boosting your immune system helping you prepare for workouts for the next day it's just super important and I honestly think whoop 3.0 is probably one of the more accurate sleep trackers that are in the game right now and they go beyond just the standard how many hours of sleep did I get at night it goes even deeper looking into how much time you spent in each of the different sleep stages such as REM sleep deep sleep or light sleep it'll show you how many disturbances you had late at night and it'll even go into to when did you actually fall asleep and how much time that you were in bed versus how much time you were asleep versus awake. This was really great for me to see because I noticed how much I had a lack of consistency in my sleep schedule. So this kind of forced me to make sure that I had a more consistent go to bed time and wake up time so then I could be really truly prepared for each of the workouts I had for the week. This leads me to my second favorite aspect of the Whoop 3.0, which is their focus on recovery. Now they determine recovery based off of four specific health metrics, one being your heart rate variability, which is the time between each heartbeat. Two is your resting heart rate, which is your average heart rate when your body is at rest. Three is your respiratory rate, which is how many breaths you have in a minute. And four was your sleep quality and quantity. And they'll basically take these metrics and put them on a scale from zero to 100% and they'll color code it, whether it's red, yellow, or green, showing you how recovered and ready you are to take on the day. It helped me really understand when I needed to push it at the gym and maybe there were some days where I needed to tailor back my workouts and maybe focus more on recovery. And the third thing that I love so much about the Whoop 3.0 is how they track your activity throughout the day or what they call strain. Now strain includes anything from exercise to anxiety to running errands, anything that you submit your body or mind to throughout the day. And they track this on a scale of zero to 21 with zero to nine being light, which is great for recovery, 10 to 13, which is being basically moderate and focusing on just maintenance. And then from 14 to 17, which is high strain, which is really good for fitness gains. And then from 18 to 21, where they say it's actually overreaching and you might be cutting into your recovery for the next day. And it tracks the strain by looking at your average heart rate, where it would also auto detect the different exercises and activities that you're doing or that you've done in the past. So whether you are going from biking to maybe working out to doing yoga, it will basically remind you to start tracking your exercise based off of where your heart rate is at that time. And this is great because it just provides you a clear view of how much effort you are putting throughout the day and how that's affecting your body, whether positive or negatively. And these are only a few of the features that I love so much about the Whoop 3.0. They also provide weekly and monthly reports where you can basically log different behaviors and see over time how those different behaviors are affecting your recovery or how well you can work out. So for me, I noticed that when I meditated throughout the day, I had a lower heart rate. And if I had a tendency to work out later, I also had less recovery the next day. So just having that in mind and being able to see that over a long period of time, I think it's just so great for when you're trying to make different behavior changes throughout your life. I gotta give a big shout out to the strain and sleep coach where basically the sleep coach gives you optimal times to go to bed and wake up to either perform optimally during a workout or just maintain. And then from a strain coach perspective, they'll give you the optimal strain number that you need to hit for that day based off of the recovery that you had the night before. This is huge so it makes sure that you are not overextending and it's again, super, super personalized. And on top of that, they have an amazing community aspect where you can basically join different groups based off of your interests, whether it's like a basketball group or maybe a running or biking group. My brother and I in our own personal group where we can root each other on or check in on each other when we're seeing that our strain levels are too high or maybe our recovery isn't as good as it should be. All of that in this little band right here. And they're even launching Whoop 4.0 in just a few weeks from now, which is supposed to have way better sensors, haptic feedbacks, a new health monitor. And they have an interesting business model where basically you just pay the subscription and they give you the band for free. So you can either do it by an 18 month or annual option, which I believe is, it's like 18 bucks a month if you do the 18 month option and then $24 a month if you do the annual. And then if you wanna just pay month to month, which is what I'm doing right now, it's just $30 a month. I'm impressed, I don't know about you, and honestly, I don't have that much negative to say about it, and this is not even a sponsored video, like I really don't. Do I maybe wish that it had a screen which showed me the time or some of my health metrics? 
Yeah, but it's not a smartwatch. It's a fitness tracker. Now, it does skew a little bit more towards the athlete or somebody who's more highly active. So you're a beginner, maybe check out the Fitbit Charge or the Apple Watch SE. But honestly, if you're looking for a top-notch fitness tracker that gives you all the vital information that you need, Whoop 3.0 is it. Like seriously, this is 150% what I would recommend. In fact, if you're interested, I'll put a referral link in the description box below. But anyway, I hope this video was extremely helpful. If it was, make sure you go ahead and compile that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, embrace the hype. Woo!